Junko Tabe was born in a humble family of seven brothers and was a fragile and weak-looking girl. She began to practice mountaineering at age 10, but could not continue because her family was too poor for such an expensive hobby. Finally, at university, she joined the mountaineering club and was able to practice mountaineering again. After graduating, she created the first women's mountaineering club in Japan, the Ladies Climbing Club. Junko founded it after seeing how the mountaineers treated her. Some didn't want to climb with her, and others told her that she only climbed to find a husband. During those years, she was completing increasingly important expeditions. She climbed Mount Fuji, Annapurna, and the Matterhorn. In 1970, Junko and the club she had founded began to prepare their most ambitious challenge to make an exclusively female expedition to climb Everest, the highest mountain in the world. As an expedition of this type needed a lot of money, they began to search for sponsors. But it was very difficult because most thought that women had to dedicate themselves to raising children. Finally, the Yomi Yuri Shimbon newspaper and Nippon TV television financed the expedition. Despite the sponsors, the budget was very small, and the expedition had to fight and resort to ingenuity to save money. They used recycled car seats to make waterproof bags and gloves, and bought goose feathers to sew their own sleeping bags. Since some of the climbers were teachers, they collected food in cans at their schools. About five years later, in early 1975, when they had already achieved what they needed and were sufficiently trained, they traveled to Kathmandu. Adventure began quietly, but when they were 6,300 meters above sea level, an avalanche buried their camp. Some of them were left unconscious and had to be rescued, including Junko, who lost consciousness for more than six minutes. The avalanche did not stop the expedition, nor Junko, who decided to continue the ascent. On May 16, 1975, she reached the top of Everest and became the first woman to reach its peak. The expedition had an important impact in Japan. Junko toured the entire country, and a miniseries was filmed about the expedition. But Junko did not like fame very much, and immediately returned to her life and to mountaineering. In 1992, she reached the top of Pungkak Jaya in Indonesia, and became the first woman to complete the Seven Summits the highest peaks on each of the seven continents. Incredible! When asked when she would retire, she always said that as long as she had strength, she would continue to climb, that perhaps she would slow down, but that she would never quit. And so it was. <laughs> 